Hi, Messy Aunt Michael back with you, and uh, today I'm going to demonstrate how to fillet a striped bass. And uh, this is a striped bass that uh, a buddy and I caught yesterday. We were catching mostly spotted bass, but the Lord provided the striped bass in answer to prayer. And I also want to emphasize in addition to praying for success when we go fishing, we also want to be thankful. Doesn't need to be a complicated prayer. All you need to do is say something along the lines of, Lord Jesus, we thank you for providing the fish. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so sharp uh, Dexter Russell fillet knife, uh, fresh into sharpness, 15 swipes on a little sharpener here. And the plan is to cut, first cut down to the backbone here, and we're going to go ahead and cut through the ribs on this one as we make the slice back, uh, and then we can cut the portion with the ribs out as a second step. The decision when filleting a fish on whether or not to cut the, uh, the ribs through the ribs uh, and then cut them out or whether or not to try and cut around the ribs in the first slice really depends on how thick those ribs are in the rib cage. At some point the ribs on a fish get too thick to cut through uh, easily and it's easier just to avoid them but uh, this fish doesn't have that, that thick of ribs. Alright so down to the backbone then work the toward the back of the body and we're trying to keep the knife close to the backbone to get as much meat off as possible. Alright so there's our first fillet and now repeat the process on the other side down the backbone then along the backbone without going through it to get the second fillet. So now we have both fillets separated and we can see that uh, it was a little bit messy there so I'm going to take a moment and rinse things off before continuing. Uh, for the next cut we're going to remove the fillet from the skin and scales. So you just grab it at the tail end and I like to get the knife down low because on this fish I'm trying to stay uh, really close to the skin on the second cut. Some fish have some meat that's not too flavorful along the skin so you can give a little more room but uh, striped bass are not one of the fish where you try and uh, leave some bloody meat uh, close to the skin. You want to really try and get down there as close to the cutting board as you can to separate the skin from the meat and that uh, that's a little kind of silvery tissue there sometimes leaves you stay along the skin uh, that's not too bad on a striped bass uh, I recommend just leaving that in and then you could just cut the ribs out um, you could just do a straight down cut I like to angle it just a little bit yeah. Get a clean fillet and uh, not the biggest fillets in the world because it wasn't the biggest striped bass in the world but wow this is going to be tasty these striped bass fillets and that's all there is to it thank you Jesus once again for the striped bass you provided in answer to prayer amen